In a dramatic turn of events, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, has publicly rebuked Prince Harry for his surprise appearance at the 10th anniversary celebration of the Invictus Games. This unexpected condemnation has ignited a firestorm of controversy, with both sides of the debate fiercely defending their positions. The Invictus Games, a sporting event founded by Prince Harry to honor wounded servicemen and women, hold a special place in his heart. His attendance at the anniversary celebration was seen by many as a testament to his enduring commitment to the cause. However, Archbishop Welby's scathing critique has cast a dark cloud over the proceedings, suggesting that Harry's presence was motivated more by personal gain and media attention than by genuine support for the veterans. The Archbishop's words have reverberated throughout the public sphere, sparking a heated debate about the role of public figures and the expectations placed upon them. Harry's supporters argue that his attendance was a powerful symbol of solidarity with the veterans and that his dedication to the Invictus Games is undeniable. They point to his tireless advocacy for wounded servicemen and women as evidence of his genuine commitment to the cause. Conversely, his detractors view his appearance as a calculated move to maintain his relevance in the public eye. They accuse him of using the event as a platform for self-promotion and of exploiting the veterans for his own personal gain. They question the sincerity of his stated desire for privacy, arguing that his actions speak louder than his words. This incident has also exposed a deeper rift between the religious establishment and the younger generation of royals. Archbishop Welby's condemnation of Prince Harry's actions has been seen by some as an outdated and out-of-touch attempt to control a public figure who is determined to chart his own path. It raises questions about the relevance of traditional institutions in a rapidly changing world and the need for greater understanding and dialogue between different generations and viewpoints. Beyond the immediate controversy, this incident has wider implications for the public's perception of both Prince Harry and the Archbishop of Canterbury. Harry's reputation as a champion for veterans and social causes may be tarnished by the Archbishop's criticism, while the Archbishop himself may be seen as out of touch and overly critical. The fallout from this incident is likely to continue for some time, with both sides digging in their heels and defending their positions. However, one thing is clear. This episode has sparked a much-needed conversation about the role of public figures in society, the balance between personal and public life, and the importance of maintaining integrity and authenticity in the face of public scrutiny.